previously on Big Brother 6. Janelle, congratulations. As head of household, <laughs> Janelle nominated those responsible for Caser's eviction. Who is your first nominee? Jennifer. Who is your second nominee? Maggie. And the friendship suffered a major blow. Jennifer, you have been evicted from the Big Brother house. But at the head of household competition, the friendship regained power. Bo, you are the new head of household. At the nomination ceremony, Bo targeted one of the only remaining pairs. Howie and Rachel, I put you guys up for eviction. But Maggie warned her alliance not to forget about another threat. Think about the repercussions for next week. I don't want to take too much attention off of James in this game. At the veto competition, James proved his dominance once again. James, you are today's veto winner. And he continued playing both sides. Where's James? Hang on. There's, really There's three of us left. James is pretty much playing both sides right now. What did they say to you about me? No, nothing. At the veto meeting, James chose to stay neutral. I choose not to use the power of veto. Who will be evicted next? Rachel or Howie? And with their numbers dwindling, can the Sovereign 2 win head of household? Or will the friendship finally take control? Find out live tonight on Big Brother 6. I'm Julie Chen. Welcome to Big Brother 6. It's day 54 inside the Big Brother house, and after suffering a major defeat last week, the Friendship Alliance came back with a vengeance. Bo, the personal shopper from Pembroke Pines, Florida, won head of household and put two housemates on the chopping block. Howie from Chicago, Illinois, and Howie's partner, Rachel, from Parker, Colorado. And for a record fourth time, James won the Golden Power Veto, but this time decided not to use it, keeping Bo's nominations intact. Both Howie and Rachel had hopes of making it to the end together and winning the $1 million grand prize. But tonight, that dream is over because one of these partners will be walking out the front door. In a few minutes, the house guests will cast their vote to evict live and either Howie or Rachel will join last week's evictee, Jennifer, on the jury that will crown the winner of Big Brother 6. But first, another pair is about to be split up. As they face possible eviction, Howie and Rachel know that their fate is in the hands of the Friendship Alliance. To respect those nomination decisions, I choose not to use the power of veto. The last thing I wanted was to be on the block with Howie. James didn't use the veto. I didn't expect him to use the veto. So one of us will be leaving. But whoever stays behind, it's basically going to be a search and destroy mission, I think. <laughs> if uh, you know, Rachel leaves, my instructions are to, you know, break up a vet and boat. Yes, it's personal. Let's break up the last surviving couple. And at the same time, it's strategical. So uh, you know what, nerd herd? You should have thought a little better about this one. We're coming after you. I, I just want to know if they're definitely going to evict me. They're evicting me. Uh-huh. They're evicting me, for sure. Why? They feel threatened by me. I got a little bit of a bad reputation around here the last couple of weeks. You know, I opened up my big mouth. Can I call you Busto for short? I don't care if you want me. If you're the Busto Blonde, I'll just call you Busto. Game of... God! You messed with the wrong house guest, Busto! Woo! But, you know, it was time, and it was, it was well-deserved for me to speak up around here. Did that get me thrown out the door quicker? I don't know. Maybe it's time for me to go. I don't like these people. They think that they want you more than him. I would, too. i play the game better. I want to see Howie succeed in this more than I want to see myself succeed in this. I wouldn't be here without him. I am prepared to leave. Doesn't mean I necessarily want to leave. I'm begging to leave. I hate it here. Right, right. I want to be here, too, because I know that I could do really well in this game. Oh, I agree, I agree. Okay? If they want to play strategically, they're going to vote me out because I'm a better player. All right. Okay. 
if they want to be somewhat vindictive for other reasons, they're going to vote you out. Yep. Howie, how pale is your ass? Just out of curiosity. What? How pale is your ass? <laughs> Streak across the yard. <laughs> Look how pale he is. <laughs> Streak. Come on, Howie. Howie, just do it. Howie. Go over there. Now go over here. Streak. From there, there, and back. Naked? Naked. I want a sock to wrap it. No. Fine, let him have okay, a fine. sock. Put a sock. You know what? Here, as long as you swear that you're not voting me off, I do it. I'm holding the Bible over it. No, no, no you can't hold the Bible yeah. over it. How many times do I got to go back and forth? Three, four times, back and forth, two times. There and I back, want you guys to speak for April 2, then I got the votes. You yeah. swear in that Bible. April 2, then I got the votes. You yeah. swear in that Bible. Touch it right now. Touch it. As long as I do this act, you swear in the Bible, you're voting Rachel off. Swear in the Bible. No, he doesn't need my votes. He's got you two. You need your vote, Maggie. No, you don't. Yes, I do. You have to ask. I'm not swearing on the Bible in this game. Well, I said, hey, you want me to streak? You vote Rachel out. But big fat Maggie wouldn't uh, wouldn't swear to her Bible. I won't swear on the Bible for anything. Because I'm a lying sack of garbage around here, and you know it, and I know it, so I'm not going to swear on the Bible. So, who knows? The consensus around the House is that they're going to vote Rachel off, but I don't believe them. Okay, listen, I'm not swearing on the Bible. We're not doing it then. Nope. 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 No pee-pee today. Hey, Howie, you just said that I was going to be the deciding vote. Is it? Mm-hmm. The only way I'd be the deciding vote is if you knew where James was going to vote. I don't know. And that shouldn't have come out. And even if he tells me that I don't know. Have you talked to him? He's gonna probably go Rachel. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I have no idea. I love the guy. It doesn't mean he's gonna do what he, what he tells me. I have no idea. There's one guy that's been mysterious about votes this, votes this year. It's been him. You don't agree with me on that, Maggie? I don't know I anything no idea. about him. I think he's gonna vote out Rachel, but I, I don't know. I don't know. I keep getting this sense that there are bigger things in the house that we should have been worried about than splitting up a pair. It's kind of unfortunate that we're focusing on splitting up a partnership versus taking out the biggest threat in the game. I totally had faith that if James got into rage, he would take one of them off to stay longer. I firmly believe that if I made it to the end and James was sitting next to me, that the friendship group would vote for me to win the money. But I don't think that James would bring me to the end. He knows that if he had, for instance, Janelle at the end, James would, would win the money over Janelle, period. It's now time to go to the living room and talk with the house guests. Hi, everyone. Hi, Hi Julie. Julie. April, <laughs> your partner Jennifer was evicted last week. What has life in the Big Brother house been like without her? Um, with Jennifer leaving, it's weird because when she was here, you felt such a pair. And the minute that she left, it, it definitely feels like a piece of me is missing. And I'm very upset because she brought me here. So I felt very guilty for sitting on this couch and her off wherever she is. So I'm going to play hard. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, April. Maggie, yeah? as you've noticed, the kitchen table has shrunk. Right. What does that mean to you in this game? Well, actually, we talked about this as a group. The fact that we're still here and the table's gotten smaller, it's a huge milestone for us. I think we're all really proud to still be here right now. Thanks, Maggie. Now I have a couple of questions from fans who wrote in to CBS.com. Oh. Yvette? Yes? If we were casting Big Brother 6, the movie, who should play you? Um... <laughs> God, no, that not Selma Hayek. They say yeah. Selma Hayek, yeah. but not Selma Hayek, no. Um, no, there's a young girl named Julie D'Amato or something like that that plays something in The Sopranos. I think she, she looks younger. So. Okay, thank you, Yvette. Thank you.